My beloved child, it is no accident that you are here today to hear this message from God. It is a divine appointment, a time that has great meaning for your life and was planned by a higher authority. She is bringing my gifts to you as a messenger from heaven itself, a receptacle of goodness. To ignore her is to reject the very blessings I have planned for you I beg you to keep your heart and mind open as you hear these words because the message that follows is extremely important. God sent this woman down from heaven. She is a conduit of great insight, a messenger of love, and an emissary of heavenly truth, therefore don't dare disregard her. Therefore I implore you to acknowledge her presence, honor her, and welcome all she has to offer. She is more complex than meets the eye. I have selected, anointed, and sent her. Her path to your life wasn't simple or coincidental. It is my perfect plan coming to pass, carefully and precisely crafted to fit your requirements, development, and destiny. She has a portion of heaven's grace, wisdom, and strength inside of her that is meant only for you, her appearance is not coincidental. This woman might show up as a mentor, friend, partner, or even a complete stranger who happens to cross your path. However, she plays a vital function. She was sent to lead, encourage, and bless you in ways that only she can, she is my instrument. It's not a coincidence, though if you are reading these words. It's a calling from God. You have the chance to receive a message that could change your life, and the universe has worked together to bring you to this precise moment. I have heard your prayers, seen your sufferings, and understood your goals. The answers to those prayers are in this woman. I'm sending the answers, solace, and opportunities you've been seeking through her words, deeds, or very presence that we frequently forget to stop, think, and listen because we are so consumed by our everyday activities and concerns. Picture yourself surrounded by a shield of divine energy, a warm golden light. Don't undervalue her influence because she may bestow favors in subtle yet significant ways. She has the secret to opening a fresh phase of prosperity and happiness in your life, now, repeat after me, I am open to receiving the message of God. Enter those words as a pledge to live in the present. She is here to bring my light into your life if you have been struggling, feeling lost, or overburdened by life's obstacles. Numerous tales of people selected to deliver messages from the divine have been told throughout history. You will be reminded of my presence and my promises by her kindness, intelligence, and faith, but if you pay close attention, you'll see that these signals frequently arrive just when we need them most, providing guidance and solace in our most confusing or depressing situations. Knowing that I have not forgotten you will give you new hope and the courage to continue through her. It's simple to write off such events as coincidences or the result of an overworked imagination in our hectic life. My blessings can occasionally take the shape of teachings. You might be stretched, challenged, or forced to step outside of your comfort zone by this woman. This process is a necessary part of your evolution, so don't fight it. These messages speak to the particular struggles and desires of our hearts and are customized to each of our specific journeys. Even though her insights are initially challenging, you should hear them. She possesses the divine light, so don't think she's just a regular mortal, have faith that she will influence you to become a better version of yourself and that her objectives are in line with my desire. Let's now examine the message's actual nature. Not all of God's messages are loud and booming. You experience clarity, comfort, and serenity when you are around her. This tranquility is a manifestation of my spirit's work through her, it is not of this earth. She is a person who has been meticulously chosen and trained for this holy duty. 
Listen carefully to her because she might have the answers to questions you have been keeping to yourself. Sort I understand the value of heavenly messengers and how crucial it is to keep your mind open to receiving such messages. Because she is led by me, she speaks with a wisdom that beyond her own comprehension. It's possible that she experienced hardships, setbacks, and epiphanies along the way, all of which helped to mold her into the divinely wise woman she is today. Her deeds are motivated by altruism, kindness, and patience. She reminds you of your value and my intentions for your life, reflecting my love for you, sort to indicate your readiness to accept and accept the divine word, I am eager to receive it with an open heart. Her presence may be consoling, but it will also motivate you to achieve more. She will inspire you to trust in my plan for your life, let go of the things that are holding you back, and walk into your purpose. It serves as a reminder that you are loved, that you are never alone, and that there is more to life than just the everyday. It would be a rejection of the blessings I have sent through her to ignore her or her importance. She is here by my divine intent, not by accident. You can lose out on the possibilities, breakthroughs, or healing you have been hoping for if you ignore her. It can mean postponing the development and happiness I have planned for you. It is an invitation to embrace the process of self-discovery, to delve deeper into your spirituality, and to investigate the secrets of existence. I encourage you to take a moment to focus on my work, even though I know that life's distractions and activity might easily cause you to miss it. It serves as a reminder that you are loved, that you are never alone, and that there is more to life than just the everyday. Acknowledge the divine link I have made with you and treat it with openness and thankfulness. She did not say what she said. She has received divine guidance, which is reflected in them. It's simple to lose sight of this important reality in a world full with noise and disorder, you might experience a great deal of compassion, an unshakable dedication to the truth, and a strong spiritual connection when you gaze into her eyes. Receiving a message and genuinely embracing and embodying it are two different things. It is not intended for the heavenly word in front of you to be a passing notion that I in order to recognize the special role the messenger plays in bringing this word to you, I type I, honoring her as a conduit of heavenly insight. Do you have to make any choices that would better fit your spiritual path? The message is like your soul's truth reflected back from a mirror. Don't let fear or mistrust to stop you from enjoying the benefits she offers. Have faith in my plan and my timing that IT serves as a reminder that your soul is inextricably linked to the heavenly source and that you are a spiritual entity experiencing human life. Spend some time listening to her, taking in the knowledge she imparts, and learning from her experiences. We lose sight of our spiritual nature as we get caught up in the web of materialism, ego, and superficiality, her words are powerful because she is my messenger. Show her how much you value and appreciate her in your life. Being grateful will strengthen the bond and increase the benefits she offers. Whether she offers guidance, support, or an opportunity, seize it. Without action, faith is lifeless, and blessings frequently don't materialize unless you actively participate. It is your responsibility to recognize it and take action. Sort In order to symbolize your resolve to incorporate the heavenly wisdom into your everyday life, I pledge to live out the message. Finally, keep in mind that this is no coincidence. The cosmos has come together to send you a message of love and spiritual instruction, which is why you are reading these words. Dear reader, you are not alone. The divine is guiding and supporting you. Don't let pride, conceit, or old scars make you disregard her. 
Occasionally, the individuals I send do not meet your needs or preferences. However, my thoughts are higher than yours, and my ways are superior than yours. Spread this message of wisdom and love to those who might be in need as well, for the influence of divine direction is limitless. Have the humility to understand that I frequently use people you wouldn't expect. Let it serve as a reminder of your close relationship with God, a ray of hope when things seem hopeless, and a source of inspiration when you're feeling doubtful. Rejecting this woman would be a rejection of my gift, as she is my chosen vessel. I will constantly strive for your well-being, my child, since I love you with an unending love. This woman is a physical reminder that I see, hear, and care about you, she is a mirror of my love, may you have a kind heart, an open mind to wisdom, and a soul that is connected to the eternal source of all. It is now your responsibility to accept, live out, and spread the message's transformational power. Don't let this opportunity go by. Accept her with thankfulness, humility, and faith, and observe the gifts that follow. Keep the message close to your heart as you leave this experience. Type 1111 if you like this video. And make sure to hit subscribe button.